Hi everybody, this is Joanne and I'd like to feature for you today two new science picture books that you can sit down and enjoy with your child ages 4 through 8. One of them asks us to slow down and take a really close look at what there is in nature in your very own backyard. And the other one is about dinosaurs and what kid does not love dinosaurs. So the first one I'd like to tell you about is written by the man who was in charge of my master's project. Jim Nardi, and I have featured him before because he had written a lovely book called Life in the Soil, which is a wonderful book for uh, gardeners, for people interested in the soil and the organisms that can be found there. And this time he's taken almost the same topic and has uh, turned it into a book for children that he has illustrated himself. This book is called In Mouse's Backyard. And look at that beautiful detail on the cover. This is all Jim's handiwork. So when you open the book to read it with your child, um, yeah, very young children won't be able to read it, but they will enjoy listening to you read the verse. So I'm gonna to read to you the music of cicadas. Mouse awoke to an awful roar that echoed from treetops to forest floor. This was a sound that had not been heard by any living mouse, frog, or bird. Only once in his life will mouse hear such a sound when cicadas leave their homes beneath the ground. Millions that had fed 17 years from spring to fall shed their skins, spread their wings, and begin to call. Mouse found it hard to decide if he should take a peek outside. Frog's trill was soothing to his ears and helped calm his many fears. And uh, so that lovely verse is at the top and then we have more verse here that explains the intricacies and details of the nature of cicadas and the world in Mouse's backyard. You will love this book, your child will love this book, and it is one of those books that a child can open and find more details each time. And so it includes electron micrographs as well as the drawings by Jim and a lovely panoramic image that gives you an idea of what is happening in each scene. So I highly recommend it just for its beauty, its peace, and its loveliness, um, and for the nature and science that your child will learn. The second book is also by an author I have featured before, who has written a book before on evolution, and this is Daniel Loxton. And his book on evolution obviously was nonfiction. This time he brings to us a fiction book, again for ages four through eight, and um, it is called Ankylosaur Attack. And this again features his wonderful artwork. And it just tells the story of a small tyrannosaur and its encounters with other dinosaurs and uh, how its daily life might have looked. So I will read from a page here. The old dinosaur was very bad tempered. He had a sore leg. The pain made him want to fight. As the young dinosaur came near, the old one stomped the ground. He grunted and roared. He waved his tail club back and forth. The message was clear. Go away. The young dinosaur turned to leave. He did not notice hungry eyes watching from the forest nearby. So we have a little danger here, and we wonder how will the tyrannosaur get out of this. So, again, a lovely fun book, Ankylosaur Attack for those kids who love dinosaurs, and for those who are more inclined to observe nature, the mouse's backyard. I'm highly recommending both. Pick up them for your children and enjoy it with them. All right? Thanks so much for listening. Bye.